Hello Darth Maul enthusiasts. I'm going to give a quick walkthrough of Better Call Maul, or level 3 in the Phantom Menace. All of the collectibles that you can get in this level, and just how to complete everything, hopefully quite swiftly. So from the start, instead of fighting them all, just retreat, go to the very back and you'll find these floating platforms. If you make your way up these platforms, you'll find mini kit number one. So you can do this in story mode if you just retreat backwards. Soon after defeating Maul's first encounter, he will retreat and call in an army of droids. For challenge number two, you need to force five of these droids into the chasm below. I'll show you what I mean by that right now. Just fling them, just get rid of them. Make sure, however, that they do not hit any walls or surfaces because they will destroy instead of falling. After you defeat Maul on the second level, he will drop down and create two platforms to either side of the arena at the back which would otherwise be inaccessible. Try and get this out of the way earlier so you have access to everything. If you turn right and go up to the upper levels, you'll find a mini kit in the top right which I'll show you now. Now that mini kit is out of reach if you want to try and jump and get it. You need to destroy these Lego pieces below and construct four button tiles. Now you don't have four playable characters, there are boxes around the level which you can use to place on the whichever tiles you want, you just need two and then your two playable characters can step on the remaining buttons. Doing so will raise the lift so that you can get the mini kit. Now, around the level, there are five cleaning droids, only in this location though, so make sure that you go around all of this part of the level and find these cleaning droids and make sure that you destroy them all completely. Of course, I'll show you the locations for all five. You do need to hit them twice to completely destroy them, with a regular attack. Now, I did not in fact destroy that one, I was very confused as to why I didn't get the mini kit. I did have to go back and destroy it, which I will show you.
Make sure that you hit them twice. Now straight from here you can complete challenge number three. After Darth Maul destroys the walkway, these three boxes will appear, which you can force lift across for another pathway instead of going up top. If you use this pathway, you'll complete challenge three. Now after this fight, you can get mini kit number 4. Once you beat Darth Maul, you can raise this floor panel. You will need to use free play to get this though. You can get a bounty hunter or a hero to grapple this and pull mini kit number 4 out of the floor. Mini kit 5 is in the final arena. Now instead of fighting more, just dive down the hole. Dive straight down the hole. Preferably without dying. The first challenge is to defeat Darth Maul in 10 minutes or less. Now you can do this in the main story, if just out of sheer luck, or you can revisit the level and make that a priority. True Jedi for this level is 70,000 studs and completing the mission will reward you with a micro Darth Maul's scimitar ship. <laughs>